okay so now we will discuss about uh, the concept of touching and non touching loops <laughs> we are discussing that because uh, it is involved in the mason's cane formula for the determination of the transfer function okay so what is a touching loop or touching loops actually and non touching loops okay the loops which have at least one common node in between them they are touching okay the loops that have one common node okay at least one common node they are touching loops and loops with no common node no common node in between them they are non touching loops okay so this is the simplest way to remember what is a touching loop and non touching loop and how to determine it loops which have a common node in them in between them it is called as a touching loops and loops with no common node they are non touching loops okay let us see uh, whether this path this this uh, signal flow graph whether it has touching loops or non touching loops so for that first we have to represent each and every loop in notation in form of their nodes so first one is 1 2 3 and 1 this one then is 2 3 2 l1 l2 2 this one then is l3 4 5 4 then l4 again same notation but different path this g5 for g5 it is 4 5 4 again no need to write the gains just we have to represent the nodal representation of that loop next is the final loop which is 2 3 4 5 2 okay 2 3 4 5 2 okay the five loops no more loops are there these five loops now in all of these uh five loops you can see that there is one common node existing between them okay there is one common node in between two loops okay let us see l1 and l2 will compare 1 2 3 1 2 3 2 and 3 common nodes 1 2 3 1 this l3 4 5 4 see 1 2 3 1 4 5 4 okay so l1 and l3 they are not touching see l1 and l3 are not touching because there is no common node between them there it is 1 2 3 1 here it is 4 5 4 so l1 l3 are two non touching loops two non touching loops ntl two non touching loops okay again l1 with l4 the same notation 1 2 3 4 5 4 4 here l1 and l4 are also two non touching loops okay next we have l1 with l5 1 2 3 1 2 3 4 5 1 so here again 2 3 here it is 2 3 so 2 3 is the common node in l1 and l5 so they are touching now we will again compare l2 with each and every other loop we have already compared l2 and l1 so they are touching s2 is common 2 3 l2 with l3 c l2 is 2 3 2 
L3 is 454. 232454 no common nodes so l2 and l3 are two non touching loops next l2 with l4 will compare 232454 again no common nodes so l2 and l4 are two non touching loops so you have to find out common nodes next l2 with l5 will compare 232 2, 3, 4, 5, 2. So 2, 3 is the common node between L2 and L5. So they are touching. Next, we have to compare L3 with L1. See, L1 and L3, when L3 and L1, they are the same. We have already compared L1 with L3. So no need to compare L3 with L1 again. Okay? It is already there are no two non-touching loops. So L1 and L3 and L3 and L1 are the same. Similarly, L2 and L3, they are two non-touching loops. So there is no need to compare again L3 with L2 because it has already been found that they are non-touching loops. So L2, L3, L3, L2, they are the same. Similarly, L3, L4, they are the same notation but just they have different nodal representations but the same nodal representation but different paths, different structures. Sorry, okay. They have same nodal representation but different path they have different structure okay so they are touching next we will uh, compare l3 with l5 we have 4 5 4 here it is 2 3 4 5 so 4 5 is common between l3 and l5 so they are touching okay next we have to compare l4 with l1 so what we are doing is that we are comparing we are taking a particular loop Okay, we are taking a particular loop at one at, at once we are taking a particular loop one loop and comparing it with every other loop first we did it with l1 then with l2 then with l3 now we are doing with l4 we have to compare l4 with all the other remaining loops now l4 there is no need to compare l4 with l1 because already we have found out that l1 and l4 are two non-touching loops because they have no common node in between them. So L1 and L4 and L4 and L1, they are the same. Comparing L1 with L4 or L4 with L1, they are the same thing. So no need to compare. Next, L4 with L2. There is also no need to compare because we have already found out that L2 and L4 are two non-touching loops. So no need to compare. L4, L2, L2, L4, they are the same thing. Next, we'll compare L4 with L3. They are the same. They have the same nodal representation. So, obviously, they are touching. Next, L4 with L5. So, it is 4, 5, 4. Here it is 2, 3, 4, 5. 4, 5 is common. So, L4, L5 are touching. Next, the last loop. We'll compare it with every other loop. 2, 3, 4, 5, 2. We'll compare with L1. 1, 2, 3. So, 2, 3 is the common node. It means L1 and L5 are touching. Next, we'll compare L5 with L2, 2, 3, 2, 2, 3, 4, 5, 2. So, 2, 3 is the common node in L2 and L5, so they are touching. Next, we'll compare L5 with L3, 2, 3, 4, 5, 2, here it is 4, 5, 4. So, 4, 5 is the common node in L3 and L5, so they are touching. Similarly, L5 with L4, 4, 5, 4, 2, 3, 4, 5, 2, 4, 5 and 4, 5, they are the common nodes. So, L4 and L5 have 4, 5 as the common nodes. So, they are also touching. So, these are the two non-touching loops. L1, L3, L1, L4, L2, L3 and L2, L4. So, the two non-touching loops, they are represented by the their respective gains of the loops. So, what we'll do is that we'll multiply the gain of L1 and L3. Okay, we'll multiply the gain of L1 and L3. We'll multiply the gain of L1 and L4. We'll multiply the gains of L2 and L3 and L2 and L4 to, to, to represent the non-touching loop gains. Okay, simply we'll multiply the gains of L2, the loop gains of the loop L2 and L4, L2 and L3, L1 and L4 and L1 and L3 to represent the two non-touching loops. Similarly, there is a, also a concept of three non-touching loops, but it rarely happens in a signal flow graph that will that you will find a three non-touching loop. It is 
it, it happens almost 5% in 5% uh, in questions 5% of the time that you will find a 3 non touching loops so it's a very rare case a 3 non touching loops is actually 3 loops okay 3 loops that have no common node in between them a group of 3 loops that have no common node in between them so it happens very rarely so just you understand that it is 3 loops that have no common node in between them that is a 3 non touching loop mostly we will deal with 2 non touching loops that is 2 loops that have no common node in between them ok so here we have discussed almost all the elements uh, which will be involved in uh, the uh, Mason's game formula to determine the transfer function of a system. Okay.